Milan, what do you say? And I, Milan Mijajkovic from Macedonia, reply. Only when the multitude, the masses, the vast majority, also in terms of vast amounts of data, have sovereignty over chance, over randomness. Only then can there be proper governance. Only then can there finally be fair rule. Randomness will finally be conquered. When Tiche, when Fortuna and the exalted gods of randomness have been foiled, then responsibility will be gone forever and guilt will finally be gone. In truth, we have endeavored to avoid this, to, through our ancestors, through the observation of birds, stones, or stars, we have shifted responsibility to clouds, bones, oracles, kings, stock exchanges, pools, markets, or God himself. The people as a whole have tried it too and called it democracy, but guilt was constant and always there because randomness wanted it that way since tyranny and randomness were one and the same. Milan, for a final place. <clears throat> now the decisions will come on their own because the people, because humankind is finally choosing the right system, the egalitarian system. But this system is not democracy, it's statistics. If statistics makes it possible for us to make decisions before the democratic choice itself, when the right decision, the real solution is in our pockets, at our fingertips, then the decision will be universal. The decision will be 100% correct. The decision will be 100% correct. And only then will the sick, the lazy, the ineffective, the unproductive, the unnoxious, the lost, the sinful, the in debt, the murderous, the secretive, the dishonest, and the devil himself will be gone. There will be no longer be the sick or the blind because statistics is the computer. It is a machine. Flavius Philostratus, the sophist, knew. For the gods perceive what lies in the future, and man, what is going on before them, and the wise, what is approaching. It is not gods or man that foresee the approaching, but the machines, 
the wise ones are the computers, the statistics, the correlations, the data, and the archives. We now need to truly learn to love computers, learn how to sacrifice for them, sacrifice our data, and then the gods will love us. Only then will there finally be peace. The data belongs to everyone. Data belongs to everyone. Data for peace. Applause. <laughs> so, so applause. Thank you very much uh, to this very <laughs> just presentation about data protection. And it's like a very just interesting and like extraordinary manner. I think that we all, only have like one minute for question or comment from the audience member. Uh, so if there are any, you are welcome. But I think it's like uh, it was really just maybe climax of the day <laughs> of conference day <laughs>